Hi, I'm Chad from Cycle Store. Uh, today we are going to run through swapping over a rear cassette. Um, this one's on a road wheel. Um, we get asked this question a lot in the shop uh, and online, uh, particularly when people are swapping their bike or wheels between a turbo trainer and a road setup. Um, this particular wheel has a Shimano Tegra cassette on there, so we'll need a lock room tool. Uh, this particular one is a workshop one, so it's already fitted to the handle. Um, some types you might just get this, this small uh, lock ring tool as a separate item and fit it to your own adjustable spanner um, or your, your own socket wrench. Um, the other tool we'll need is a chain whip, which basically just holds the cassette in place to allow you to undo the lock ring, which is on a, on a standard thread. Um, so if we were to just try and do the lock ring as it stands, obviously the cassette's just going to spin backwards. Um, a chain whip lets you hold the cassette in place, wrap it around as many teeth as you can. Um, this one won't be too tight, it should be tighter than that for road use but for the purposes of for the video it's a little bit loose. Remove the lock ring there. Most cassettes um, of this quality will be in a number of pieces so with me holding it all together it looks like one piece but in fact this one is in lots of different pieces. Um, when you come to refit, you need to find the spot on the free hub on the bike where there's one groove that's bigger than the others. Match that up with the groove on your cassette that's bigger than the others and it'll just all slot back into place. Some of these smaller sprockets will have a little black spacer in between them, like this one. You need to make sure that those are all in the right order as well. Um, if they're not, the cassette would probably go back on and lock up, but chances are your gears wouldn't work very well if they were mixed up. I always just refit the, the lock ring loosely with my fingers first, just, just to check it's, it's on the right thread. You're not going to cross thread it or anything like that, which could be quite an expensive mistake. Get your lock ring tool and do it back up. There we go. Quick and easy. Thanks very much.